So Soros is all about accountability, and the Open Society Institute is all about accountability. So we're going to hold the organization accountable by talking to every single person that walks out of their office, asking them the same question. Are they behind these agitprop movements, both in the United States and in Europe? You work at Open Society Institute? Uh, no. You work for Open Society? No, I don't. I assume you do work for Open Society, right? Uh, do you work there at Open Society Institute Foundation? Uh, yes. You do? Nobody works for them. I think we're one for 50 on people who actually work for the organization they're walking out of. So. Poland has a new prime minister. Last October, the people of Poland elected a new government from the Conservative Law and Justice Party. This came on the heels of last May's presidential election when the Law and Justice candidate won the presidency. Matthew Tiermond is a journalist. He's also an analyst of Poland's political landscape. He also sits on the board of Project Veritas. So, so after the election, there was some type of group that got involved, some type of uh, far-left group. What do you know about the group and who's behind it? So the group is called KOD, it means Komitet Obroni Demokratia, which is the Committee for Defense of Democracy. And it looked like it spontaneously rose up. But if you look a little deeper at the organizing figures, these were a lot of people with the same kind of style that we deal with in the U.S. of career community activists, social activists. And the figurehead, the, uh, the public face of it, was a guy named Mateusz Kijowski, who funnily enough, or maybe symbolically, is incredibly in arrears on his child support and alimony payments. And this is a running joke in Poland, but this is something the Western press, as they highlight KOD's fight against the new government, never seems to mention that this guy is basically a criminal. Tiermann says KOD is out to undermine the government and circumvent democracy by spreading misinformation and lies. So you've got a coordinated effort by the political opposition to spin this very, very false narrative. And I think Soros is behind it. Tiermond and others believe George Soros and his foundation have funded radical movements both foreign and domestic, including Black Lives Matter and others. We had a plan to go undercover into the Soros Foundation to expose their questionable activities. We posed as a Hungarian investor named Victor and eventually connected with Dana Garrity, a program specialist at the foundation. We were hoping for a meeting. She called us back and left a message. Hi, Victor. This is Dana Garrity giving you a call back. I got your voicemail. But the Soros people were able to thwart our plan. So instead, we decided to accompany Tiermond as he sought comment about Soros' involvement with the radical political agitators who seek to undermine democracy. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be seeing you today. Okay. I'm just being honest. Okay? Well, how do you know that? Because I spoke to her. Hi. Are you Dana? Are you Dana Garrity at Open Society Foundations? Do I fucking look like Dana Garrity? Do you what? Almost every individual that I've spoken with claims not to work there or claims to be a temporary employee or an intern. Not very transparent. Do you work at Open Society Foundations? No. You guys work at OSF? Yeah, the two that walked out, they were like panicked, and then they were like, looked at me and were like, like literally, mumbled the words, like, don't talk to them. I see you work at Open Society Foundation. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. I was curious if you know anything about a protest movement on the streets of Poland that Soros is funding through Stefan Vittori Foundation. I get to talk to so many great Open Society workers, but I don't see a lot of transparency coming out of OSF. We just want to have a conversation about what OSF is doing in Poland these days. No comments on this? <laughs> Do you work for Open Society Foundation? I do. Okay, well I appreciate the candor. I see it came out of OSF. I don't like that. Do you work for Open Society? Do you work for OSF? I do. No touch, no touching. Just looking for a little transparency in the philanthropic initiatives. It's in the mission statement. They say it's all about transparency. Doesn't seem that way. Excuse me, ma'am. A source told us this woman is in charge of the Black Lives Matter effort at the Soros Foundation. You're with the, uh, the Black Lives Matter folks and, and uh, Soros, right? You're responsible for organizing that? What's that? Uh, do, you, do you organize the Black Lives Matter movement? If you have the authority to write tickets, could you write a ticket to Open Society Foundation? Because they're funding a lot of bad things. 
Look, in the mission statement of both Stepan Batory Foundation and Open Society Foundation, they talk about the importance of fighting for democracy and transparency in their civic activity and in their philanthropic initiatives. But as we saw today, there's no transparency. I can't get the questions out. They will not confirm nor deny whether they're funding it. They're not going to respond to you? They're not going to respond to anyone. Is it filming a Black Lives Matter protest and all your co-opted uh, What's that? Soros funds? Can you do it on your sidewalk, please? I'm sorry? Can you do all this co-opting on your sidewalk, please? Do you have a problem with Soros? Do it on that side. Oh, that guy was not a fan of George Soros. While we got burned on this investigation, we have many more in development that will be released in the coming year. Some of our journalists are so deeply embedded that we can't release their footage until the investigation is complete or we will blow our cover. In our line of work, sometimes things go like the old saying, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry.